Welcome back, everyone. It's time for movie news with the Lou's. Chris Lou Zader, good to see you. How are you both? We're good. Pink. Uh, okay, so new on screens. We have to jump to it because mm -hmm. I've been asked about this movie more than oh, most. And just now. ask her. <laughs> Joker. Folly a deux. And I don't speak French. Huh? It means the madness of two in French. But oh. uh, so Arthur Fleck, he's institutionalized, waiting trial for all his crimes as the Joker, you know, his other personality, while struggling with his dual identity inside the prison. So Arthur not only stumbles upon true love, but also finds the music that's always been inside him. Joaquin Phoenix, Lady Gaga in this, they star, directed by Todd Phillips. Okay, so here's where I need to chat about it. Todd Phillips, he's the hangover guy. Is he's he hangover really? one, two, three, which are comedies. So I would like to say these things. It's a two-fold situation. One, it's very slick. It's very beautiful. Like, I didn't know that Todd Phillips was that artistic mm -hmm. because he's very funny. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix, such a strong performance. I, but uh, however, whoever plays the Joker, they really deep dive into it. I mean, yeah. Heath uh -huh. Ledger did in The Dark Knight. Um, Jack Jared, Nicholson, Jared right? Leto. Jared Leto, yeah. It. So you deep dive into that character. Mm -hmm. And Lady Gaga is always exquisite in everything. Mm -hmm. However, oh. it is quite slow extraordinarily dark. I mean, this is like dark black with black on top of black. Oh. It's very dark. Ooh. Um, and I was afraid of that. Lady Gaga can sing. Just mixing the music was mm, to me. Was it too uh, much so Lady I can't, Gaga I can't singing? say I hate it as a filmy, uh -huh. but it will not please like the general uh -huh. public going to the movies. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I ask? Was Die with a Smile featuring Bruno Mars featured in that movie? I it's the collab with Lady Gaga and Bruno Mars. Oh my gosh. Jeremy was obsessed with it. I don't recall it, but I can't say Okay. I can't say that it wasn't. But she did a lot of great singing. And Joaquin Phoenix sings, which he's not a singer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's apparently he's not a singer, but yeah. he's but he is just like lost in that character. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is no Joaquin Phoenix. But um, so it's it's like a 50-50. I so don't you know just, what else to say. So did you just kind of walk out going, hmm? Well, my friend was like, that was weird. I didn't love it. But she only likes fluffy things. Uh, hey. And <laughs> and <laughs> and okay. Uh, kind of, hey, but yeah. uh, it, so it artistically as a filmy, good score. Um, just as a general movie going, it's not a superhero movie, you right, know. Right. So speaking of that, I would like to do a rewind review, if you don't mind. Let's talk about The Dark Knight. Okay, this is from 2008, and it's Heath Ledger, who I did a very early on pre-screening for this, like maybe a week before this release came out. And I was like lifted up into my seat like, wow, some magical performance is happening in front of my eyes. However, Heath Ledger, you know, passed away, but he posthumously won the Oscar and nobody has won an Oscar for a character like that. Mm -hmm. But so if that tells you how great the movie is. Uh, so if you haven't seen it ever, I definitely recommend it if you're into the Batman world whatsoever. And if you haven't seen it in a long time, I'd like to give it a little, another glance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this was the Christopher Nolan, you know, he did a, a couple of the Batman yeah. things and stuff. And he is very slick director. Oh, I forgot Michael Caine is in this. I know. Oh. I know. I love this movie. I actually got grounded because I was past curfew. Because it's such a long movie. Uh -huh. And I got grounded because I... I I wasn't home by curfew because I've seen this movie. <laughs> the magic of a longer movie that doesn't feel long, that's the magic. Yeah. So Joker current one with uh, Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga, I was a little bit like, Check in. Uh, are we done yet? Uh, but then I'd also like to do another rewind review just because Lady Gaga is so talented. Her, I mean, I loved A Star is Born, 1976, Barbara Streisand, the late Chris Christopherson. But when Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga hit that screen, did you both love it? I love yeah, it. Yeah, I did. It's so, so good. And it was it was a sad story. It's oh, a sad it's a sad story. story. Yeah, for sure. All of the Star is Borns are sad.
but man, Bradley Cooper, he did all his singing. Lady Gaga had never really, you know, chomped into acting that, I mean, she's a great performer, period. Yeah. Uh, one of the greatest concerts I've ever seen. But, uh, and it was just so good. And if you haven't seen it, I say see it. If you haven't seen it in a long time, I'd like to give it a rewatch. Up until the end, I mean. Yeah, well. <laughs> the end is devastating. Just like Titanic, so. up until the end. Just watch it up until the end and cut yourself off. It's one of those movies that afterwards you just want them to date. Remember, everyone yeah. was like, oh, I think that he's leaving his wife or his girlfriend, and, yep. and they're breaking up, and none of it happened. And when they would sing, though, on any, because they were on the awards circuit pretty oh, yeah. hard, when they would sing together, it was just pretty it was. amazing. Yeah. Which I think that Lady Gaga is that way with everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, anyone that she collabs with, she's like all in. When she sang with Tony Bennett, yes. I'm like, there's something going on between those two. <laughs> right. Like, it is very, you know. She's so touching with him. Yes. I do want to tell you about a few movies that we might be able to get excited about. Okay. I am very excited about next weekend, Saturday night, which is about the very first night of Saturday Night Live, mm -hmm. but I'm a longtime fan. And then um, we have here coming up with Tom Hanks and Robin Wright. They haven't been in a movie together since Forrest Gump. Oh. Uh, Red One with Dwayne Johnson and Chris Evans. Uh, that's coming up, and also the much anticipated Gladiator 2, not anticipated 100% by me, <laughs> however, it is very anticipated, but I am excited about Wicked Part 1 with Cynthia Erivo and Ariana Grande, mm. so, and I know Jeremy has specific feelings about it, but we shall see. I agree with him. If they can do it on Broadway in one full foul swoop, why can't they do it with the movies? Just saying. So. It's money, Maddie. It's money. It's money. <laughs> All right. Well, Chris, always good to see you. We'll you see you too? second hour with Kevin. Uh, you guys will be hanging with Jeremy live on location right after this. Don't go anywhere.